Hey guys, it's me, Meter, and here we are in my first Let's Play. At least that's what I wish I was would have said when I first did this. Yes, I was planning to actually do this game since my first Let's Play, but was never actually able to because when I was going to, I actually announced what I was going to do on Elo's stream one time, and he was like, wow, that's a good idea. I'd watch that. I'd watch that. People were all saying they would watch it. And then wouldn't you know it, like five other people decided to do that game. Let's see. There's Wild Chase, Tennis Chase 6M, Andy Cares, which he was doing it beforehand. And there were like maybe two or three other people that were doing it as well, actually, with the names of. Either way, here we are, finally able to actually do this game now. Pokemon Gale of Darkness XD. Well, actually, it's Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, but you get the point. Either way, eight months later, here we are, finally able to do this game. So, let's start. I was also trying to figure out a way to actually make this game interesting without cutting out so much. But now I actually have a good program, so I pretty much have a good idea of what I could do. So, let's do this. New game, of course. Okay, start a new story. Yes. Yes, it is. New name. What... What is my name? I don't even know. My name is Leo? Le no, no. I think, I'm pretty sure it's Meteors. Yeah. But that's, my, that's my real name. It totally... It's everything I about it. Meteor... Z done. G makes everything better. So let's start here. Finally. After eight months. So here we are, the SS Libra. Oh, everyone's so happy. Everyone's looking forward to their vacation. Oh man, what a what a great time to be alive, right? Look at the stars. Look at the ocean. So peaceful, so calm. Everyone's just watching, just looking out. Oh god, what's going on? Oh god, the police are after us. What do we do? Do we? Do we? Are in? Are we on bound territory? Are we not? Oh, hey, look, it's Lugia. Man, we're so lucky to be here. Man, we even get to see it, Lugia. That thing is like so rare. Man, I can't believe we're actually seeing it. Oh, what's going on here? Oh my god, it's attacking the ship. Everyone, abandon ship. Everyone, get back to your cabins. Everything's fine. It's just an electrical problem. Everything's under control. Um, they say, did anyone see the captain? Yeah, so either way, Lugia just goes ahead and takes away the SS Libra. And they're just in the water, just looking at each other like, oh, whatever. We're just going to drown to death. It's fine. No reason to panic or anything. I mean, it's not like we're scared. It's just like, eh. Eh, just happens before. It's fine. So then after that cutscene, Pinks, you right to a battle here. Wait for it. Here we are. A battle takes you right into here against the Metagross. You have a Salamence. You have four attacks here. Earthquake, Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, and Brick Break. He only has one Pokemon, and so do you. So I think it's pretty obvious what we should use. Just Earthquake twice, and there you go. Or you can be a complete mortal and go for Dragon Dance. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! Dragon Dance. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Talking speed! I'm gonna completely screw myself over because I'm gonna probably get a poison from Sludge Bomb and die! Yay! Yay! Come on. Poison. Poison. Yes! I'm gonna lose! I'm gonna lose on purpose! Woo! Maybe if I pull off a crit? Maybe? Let's do it. Earthquake crit. Yeah. It's super effective. 7 HP. Aww. Aww. Oh well. Yeah, you have two turns, so make him count. And I'm gonna have another turn of poison, right? Yep, I died. So, yeah, pretty much if you just wanna win, you don't go for Dragon Dance, just go for Earthquake twice. That's all you do. But, it doesn't really matter because this battle is not actually real. This battle does not exist. It's just an illusion. Just like uh, King Arthur was in Sucking the Black Knight. So, anyway, Meteor's witted out. At least that's what it would say, except. Alright, Meteor's, this will do for today. Hmm, nice try, Meteors. You came up just a little short. Did you find it a little d disconcerting to be without your trusty Eevee? Yes, because Eevee could do so much to a Metagross. Although, maybe it could bite and flinch to death. Bite and flinch! Yeah, with the little fangs. Whatever, I don't know. Still, the aptitude for battling is very acute. Aw, how cute. If you keep if you keep up your chain, you'll get tougher for sure. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my Eevee here, and if it's a good Eevee, I'll keep it. I'm looking for a hidden power specifically, so I'll be right back, or whenever it takes me to actually find this. Oh, that awkward moment when you find out that you can actually learn a hidden power until it's level 100 or a little bit higher than level 10. Oh well, I still got a good nature out of it. I got a hasty nature, which is a neutral nature, and I got a lot, I got like 3 to HP, and I got like 30 HP EVs, 30 defense, and like 14 special defense, something like that, and I got like... What is it? 24 speed? So, pretty good. I think it's a pretty good balance. Sure, special attack and attack is terrible, but eh, we'll make do. Anyway, go in here. Hi, Meteors. Have you finished training? Meteors, this this is the director's office. Do you want to pay the visit to Professor Crane? 
Ha ha ha, you don't need to be that stiffly official, Lily. But... Oh yes, I have heard the battle coach singing high praise about you, Meteors. I've heard that your battling skills have improved drastically recently. That's outstanding, Meteors. I sure don't think I'd stand much of a chance against you. Ha ha ha. Yeah, if only a lot of other people thought that. I wish everyone would drown them with such gushing praise all the time. Wow, uh, Lily, <laughs> Lily represents PMP. <laughs> How about that? My son and daughter will become a spoiled rotten. There's nothing to worry about. Both Beaners and Jovi are wonderful kids. By the way, I don't think I've seen Jovi since lunchtime. Meteors, I hate to bother you, but can you go find Jovi for me? Meteors, I think you already you know, but several research projects are in their critical phases in this lab. That's why your mother can't afford to take any time off this instant. So please, honey, will you go find and find Jovi for me? Alright, I guess I will. Thank you, I'm counting on you. I don't think she could have wandered off too far, but just in case, check outside too. I'm sorry, Meteors, after five long years, project is finally on the verge of coming together. But for that to happen, we can't do without your mother's expertise. Oh yes, I left the PDA in your room, Meteors. Go check it out. Who uses a PDA anymore? Hmm. Well, my throat is drying out so much in this freaking winter. It's starting me nuts. The rain is horrible. Anyway, PDA stands for Pokemon Digital Assistance. Oh, so that's what it stands for. <laughs> Man, who knew? It's a very useful electronic tool. I guess. A PDA can be used for email, among other things. Email? Whoa! You mean that I, I can actually check my email on the go? What the, what the heck is this? That's ridiculous. <laughs> we have technology. I'm sure you'll find its many features useful. It's quite easy to use, Meteors. I'm sure you'll have no trouble figuring it out. Alright, so let's go find Jovi. But first, let's talk to this guy over here. Let's see what he has to say. Hello, Meteors. Are you done with training for now? You must be tired. But seeing you like this, my Meteor, you've grown up to be a fine young lad. Meteors, if only your father were here to see how much you've grown. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I promise I wouldn't mention that. Please, but pay you no heed. Alright, that's, that's fine, no problem. I'm leaving, I'm out of here. See you guys, I'm gonna kill all of you eventually. Eventually! <laughs> oh god, everyone hates me. Okay, so talk to this guy down here. Meteors, have you seen Jovi? We're playing hide and seek. But Jovi's been gone a while now. Maybe she's playing in your room, Meteors. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. Go in this room, you'll see a little news report. We bring you ONBS News. Authorities still have failed to find any traces of the cargo ship SS Libra since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Gadian Port. There have been no reports of flotsam that may indicate the ship's sinking. The authorities appeared mystified by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There are reports that numerous Pokemon were on board. Concern is rising over their welfare. Alright, let's see what these people have to say about it. A huge cargo ship just doesn't vanish into thin air. They just have to be more careful searching. The ship probably had engine trouble. It must be a different the sea somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Just like, uh, yeah. Anyway, rumor has it that there was a new Pokemon that even Professor Crane has never seen on that missing ship. It's very worrying. I hope the Pokemon on board are safe from harm. They're not. They're all going to go under horrible experiments and die a horrible death. That's they're all going to go and kind of suffer. Anyway. Uh, where, where, what the crap was I doing? Oh, yeah, sorry, it's going over here. And going to my room. Because in my room, there's a little something waiting for me. Two things, actually. It's Meteor's room, but lady, his kid sister, appears to have the run of the place. Hmm. What's that sparkling on my desk? Hey, there's something on the desk. Thanks for pointing that out. You know, the camera zoom didn't actually show that enough well enough. Well, didn't show it off well enough. Meteor's found potion. There are three of them. Meteor's obtained the three potions. Is that really necessary text? I mean, they could have easily just... Had the first part, just set it there. Who, okay, who has a basketball hoop that high in their room? I mean, who seriously plays basketball in their room? Next to their computer! I don't, whatever, just grab the PDA. Meteors found a PDA. Meteors obtained the PDA. Once again, more useless text. Better than useless um, cutscenes like Scar Fox Adventures. If you read in this email, then you must have obtained the PDA. It had its many features, like email. By the way, Adam was playing hide and seek with Jovi. Wanna have a chat with him? I just did. I didn't really have to go back there, even though I just talked to him. Alright, well, since the PDA told me to, I have to listen to the PDA. Oh yeah, one thing I also want to point out here. You see a little Pokemon here, you talk to them. 
The cry seems echoey for some reason. I don't know why. In this game, every Pokemon you talk to just seems echoey. Maybe the voice sound pitch changes depending on what kind of room they're in. If they're indoors, maybe it sounds echoey. I don't know. Maybe it's just my audio file senses tingling again. I mean, I just it just bothers me a little bit. Anyway, see this guy down here talking to me again. What? You startled me. Oh, hi, it's you, Meteors. You talked to me earlier. It's me, Adon. You're looking for Jovi? We're supposed to be playing hide and seek right now, but she isn't around anywhere. Maybe, well, maybe she's gone off to Dr. Kamiko's manor. Well, it's big. It's a big weird house southeast of here. Jovi's it in our game of hide and seek. I wish he'd find me soon. My back is starting to hurt. You know, if you haven't seen her for a while, it seems about time to just, like, you know, stop playing hide and seek and just, like, walk up and do other things and say, well, you took too long. But, you know, that's that's common sense talking. I mean, why would, who would use common sense in a video game? I mean, it's like Dr. Eggman. Do you think you would stop making all these, you know, robots having giant, like, hit me buttons on them? Or at least having some kind of major flaw. But, eh, what can you do? Uh, I'll talk to this guy here. What's he say? Oh, boy. The world of Pokemon is so deep. The more I study them, the more I am inspired to be the very fastic... What the crap word is that? Fantasticalness? F fantasticalness what, I, what the crap word is that for example you know all Pokemon have types and abilities right if you keep those facts in mind and apply them to battling you can always gain an advantage over your opponents hmm you don't see any mention predictions because that seems to be a pretty big fact of that one anyway just head over to the left here and you'll see another item box and you can notice the item boxes in this game looks like rectangles or rectangular prisms rather than actual balls so now they don't just lie balls are in the middle of nowhere they're actually square boxes now, which makes even less sense for me to leave them around here. I mean, right on a right on a path, they just leave a box there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna place this here. There we. Go. I'm just gonna walk away. Just wait for someone to grab it. That's fine. Two two antidotes. All right, that's fine. But seriously, who would place a box in the middle of? Why am I questioning this? It's it's like why is there an item ball at the end of a place you can only surf to? How do the actual trainer do they try to like walk, crawl over there and like place it or something? I don't know. I've never really understood that. About any game, really, but I guess you can play, play apply to any game where you put certain items in places. Which sure is probably the biggest one. Anyway, let's just shut up and go. For, we need to get a scooter. I, I could have sworn I just walked off without a scooter, but I, all right. I guess you just pull out of your backpack, which you are even wearing a backpack. I'm pretty sure you are, right? Okay, those two little electric things outside of your house can't be can't get approved for fire safety. No, you're not wearing a backpack, we're, and you don't have your scooter with you. But where the where did you get the scooter from? All right. Creepy music. What kind of creepy things are gonna happen? Gonna... Wait, who goes there? You must be a burglar. Chobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Chobin is the name, and Chobin is number one assistant to Dr. Cominko. Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be number one assistant. You sound like Mojo Jojo, actually. But, alright, let's battle! Now, if you notice here, um, this is the first real battle we've actually had, and he sent out a Sunkern. Excellent Pokemon choice! I can't think of any better one. I don't know, I, I think Magikarp might slightly have the edge over Sunkern. I don't know, they're both, they're both really good, so I'm not really sure. Let's go for Tackle. Let's do it. You know, that's pretty aerobic, being, being able to like flip and stuff like that. That's pretty awesome, actually. Pretty good. Pretty nice. Sunkern needs Absorb. Absorb that power! The power to absorb! 2 HP. Good job. That's that's impressive. That two. That's wonderful. 2 HP. Let's go for bite, just because I can. Bite! Bite! You still do flips and crap. Now that's really impressive. Be able to do all those flips and bite. It's like a spin attack almost. Hmm. Anyway. Still not enough to evolve. Not evolve. To level up. But why does it zoom in on the Pokemon when it says I defeat the Pokemon when I defeat them? You know what? I don't really care. You know, dropping your glasses might seem a little excessive there. I mean, eh. Why am I questioning? I'm questioning way too much about this game. You made Chobin angry now. Even though Chobin lost, you're still not going past Chobin. Huh? Closer observation reveals that the suspect is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. Well, you could be a child burglar. I mean, people, you see a lot of children stealing nowadays, so... You never know. I mean, just because he's a child doesn't mean he's not a burglar. Ah ha ha, Chobin wishes you spoke up right away. Your meteors? Chobin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Aw, oh, happy music. Oh, Big Brother, what are you doing here? Oh, Jovi gets it. Big Brother, you got lost, didn't you? 
Yeah, you know, pressing right on the control pad is just really hard for me. Hee hee hee, Jovi thought so. Big brother, you look dependable, but then you make silly mistakes. Well, I actually do, especially when it comes to Pokemon battling. This big house is Dr. Kaminko's. Dr. Kaminko's job is to make incredible inventions. There's a whole bunch of neat machines like they have at the Pokemon High Quality lo Headquarter Lab. You should come in too, big brother. Meteors, you are, are you that girl's older brother? Isn't that what she just said? I, sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Tobin finds it hard keeping an eye on her so that she does not bother the doctor. The doctor. Oh my gosh, Doctor Who's here? Whoa, whoa, it's awesome. Wait, where is he? I want to meet this guy. I want to, go, I want to travel through time. Meteors, you will have a look at Dr. Kimiko's adventures. You will, yes? Okay, this way, please. Follow Tobin. Hmm. Okay, Tobin will now show you the invention of the in inestimable, inestimable Dr. Kim Dr. Kimiko. Dr. Kimiko's inventions, it needs to be said, they are number one in the world. Chobin is full of admiration. Oh? Why does Chobin know that they are number one worldwide? That he's explaining. In the whole wide world, no one but Dr. Kimiko would invent such inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the world without question. Our Dr. Kimiko, who is verily great, is inventing in that room there. Looks like he's just sitting there with his arms behind his back, actually. Hi, Doctor. What kind of funny machine are you making this time? Jovi wants to know. Uh-oh. That girl is doc doc at Dr. Kaminko's side again. Tobin hopes she is causing no disturbance. Anyway, let Tobin acquaint you with some of Dr. Kaminko's greatest inventions. Let the... F <laughs> yeah, that's an awesome invention there. That's a, that's a, what, what was this game made? What? Wait a minute. Th that's blasphemy! You're playing a VCR in widescreen! Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Witch! Witch! Dr. Kaminko's inventions are number one in the world! Chobin's choice is this! Ta-da! The unhealthy sandals! What? The insole is studded with lumpy nubs that fail to simulate every pressure point in the fabulous way. Keep wearing these and Chobin will guarantee painful feet and chronic worsening of your health. Chobin thinks it is superlative. Aha! Incredible! Listen, Arthur, there's much more to it than that too. Um, the doctor's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Someone gives you permission to use this anytime you like. Well, I guess that explains why the doctor's a time traveler, not exactly an inventor, but he does have that supersonic screwdriver. Well, not sure that was invented either, but it's all good. And let's go in here and talk to Jovi. I'll actually just talk to this guy first. Did he come from the Pokemon headquarter lab? My name is Makan. I run the parts shop in Gating Port. How is the lab's director, Professor Crane? Yes? Ah, uh, yes, if you'd be so kind, please tell the professor that the machine part he needed is ready and that he should come get it anytime. Will do. I'll talk to the doctor. Dr. Kiminko. Hmm, incidentally, child, how long have you been here? Hmm, hmm. Let's talk to Jovi. Hi, big brother. This is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. Huh? Are you going home already, big brother? But you just got here. Oh, Jovi gets it. Jovi has to show you how to go home, right? Okay, jo that's what Jovi will do. Jovi will take you home. Mimi, let's go home with big brother. <laughs> Wait, what? It actually said... Mimi said its name. Oh, Minin. Right, right. <sighs> God. Okay. Y you know what? That, that, that was, that was, that was, stupid. Jo Jovi's doing the part. Does that make it setting Pokemon battles? Go fight for me! Kill the Pokemon with a knife! Okay, let's move out. Jovi will visit again, Doctor. Bye-bye. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this crazy contraption place with the evil, sturdy soul thing that, you know, tries to kill your feet and makes them more painful. Dear Meteors, you appear to have traveled far in your search for Jovi. Please come back to the HQ lab as soon as you find her. I need your help with something. Alright. What is it? What is it? Email from the professor? He wants you to come home quickly? Jovi is worried about letting you go out by yourself, big brother, so Jovi will go home too. Let's go right now. Okay, so Jovi and Jovi both talk in third person. Were they, like, dropped on their head as a child and don't know how to actually, you know, speak in first person? Maybe they weren't, maybe they weren't taught English. That'd be interesting. I'm having a hard time with English myself with the way I stutter all the time, but it's all good. It's all good and grand. Let's head back to the headquarter lab. 
I, I don't seem the scooter. I don't remember the scooter being that big to actually fit two people. Oh well. Set up what you have to see here. Is it just me, or does the start of that song remind me exactly of the first song, Super Mario Land? I don't know. Maybe I always get that vibe every time I hear it, like the first notes. I, whatever. Continuing on. Oh hi, mommy. We're back. Oh hi, Jovi. Haven't I told you not to wander away yourself? No, mommy. You don't understand. Big Brother was lost, so if Jovi brought him here. But you traveled there by yourself to begin with, so. If Jovi weren't there, Jovi bets he'd be crying by now, saying he can't go home. Right, big brother? Yep, you caught me. Oh my my, Jovi, you're such a brave and resourceful girl. But that's quite enough for today. Besides, Adam must be tired of waiting for you. Oh my gosh, I was in the middle of hide and seek. Okay, big brother, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Meteors, thank you for finding Jovi for me. Oh yes, Professor K wanted to see you, Meteors. Go see him right away, please. I'll see him right after I have a Pokemon battle with this guy. Hi, Meteors. I heard about you. Sounds like you've been racking up outstanding scores in the battle sim system. But instead of that virtual reality stuff, how about a real battle for a change? I'll be having a battle with you anytime. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, that's the spirit. Let's get it on. You know what? I don't think I want to battle anymore. Let me just let me just go the other way. No, no, I don't want to. <sighs> yeah, I'll. Oh, well, um. Okay, just, just, I'll be. I'll just stand over here, just, just away from you. Just, just saying. Go, Eevee! Kill, kill! Be the Eevee killer, Igor! Kill everything with tackle, tackle and attack. <sighs> yes, powerfulness. Seriously, it seems almost one damage. That that actually does like three damage. Good job. That stab is powerful stuff. Pow. Pow, right in the Gissa. Sentra had faded. Fainted. Not faded. That'd be weird. Yay, I'm level 11 now. You go to level 11. Let's see, 2 HP, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 special attack, 2 special defense, 1 speed. I see those are pretty good stats for level 11, looking at it. Oh well. Player defeated Super Trainer Afford. Afford. Whoa, he is really tough. Well, that was an eye-opener. Meteors, you become a lot tougher without me noticing. Okay, I'll change this in the battle sim system, too. That's what I'll do. Uh, what you should do is battle real people to actually gain the experience of your current Pokemon. Because at level 5, your Sentra's not going to do jack squat. Just saying. Anyway, let's leave. I can just get to a save point here. I need to save so I can actually end this part here. There we are. Hey, Blissey. What's up, Blissey? Bliss, bliss! Heal my Pokemon first. This is a Pokemon healing machine in case you aren't aware of it. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Yes. Yes, I will. A little out of... Alright. And over here is the save station. Access with... What? I thought this... Wait a second. Alright, well I guess it'll end it off for this episode. And, uh... Wow. I'll see you guys next time.